hello students in the previous classes we have learned about the preparation properties and structure of the diborin and uh, as well as the higher borins under the higher borins we have studied about the tetra borin and penta borin here in this video we are going to study about the boron and uh, nitrogen compounds and especially here we study the preparation properties and structure of the borazol borazol is also known as the borazine and inorganic benzene or inorganic benzene and one more compound that we study under this or in this video is boron nitride now we go for the preparation methods of the borazol or borazine or inorganic benzene here uh, borazol or borazine is prepared by the reaction of uh, diborane with uh, ammonia ammonia formula is nh3 so here when ammonia used in excess amounts and is allowed to react with the diborane first of all we get a addition product known as the diammoniate of diborane and uh, formula of the diammoniate of diborane is b2h6 2nh3 already we have studied about this reaction in the properties of the diborane name of this compound is diammoniate of diborane then this diammoniate and this reaction is very simple because it is a addition product addition product is also called as adduct here yeah, just we have to write two formulas of the formula of the diborane and ammonia so that will become the formula of the diammoniate of diborane and then after this diammoniate of diborane is heated up to 200 degrees centigrade due to that this diammoniate of diborane decomposes and uh, gives borazol or borazine borazol or borazine's formula is b3n3h6 and uh, along with this hydrogen gas is also released and uh, this equation is uh, very easy to balance here the number of the boron atom is 3 and here the number of boron atoms is 2 so in order to balance we have to exchange these numbers now the number of boron atoms becomes equal and here the number of nitrogen atoms also becomes equal 3 into 3 is 6 and this side also 2 into 3 is 6 nitrogen atoms are there now we have to balance the number of the hydrogen atoms here 2 into 3 is 6 plus 6 12 into 3 so on this side we have the uh, what is the 36 hydrogen atoms and on this side now in this case in this product we have the only uh, what is that uh, 2 into 6 2 hydrogen atoms so here still we have to write the 24 hydrogen atoms or 12 molecules so here we write the 12 h2 so like that this reaction is very easy to balance now we go for the preparation of the uh, borazol by the second method in the second method we make use of the boron trichloride boron trichloride second method by using boron trichloride here we prepare the uh, what is that borazol or borazine here uh, boron trichloride is heated along with the ammonia ammonium chloride nh4cl ammonium chloride so this ammonium chloride is uh, converted into fine powder and it is uh, taken into a pyrex glass tube like this and uh, this ammonium chloride is heated taken in the pyrex tube and uh, heated at uh, one end for example here we take the ammonium chloride and we heat here and the and from the other end 
the vapors of the boron trichloride are passed over this ammonium chloride as a result the reaction occurs between these two substances and we get a intermediate product that is the bcl3 plus and ammonium chloride as a result we get the b trichloro uh, what is that um, cl sorry cl3 b 3 n3 h3 so this is known as the b b boron trichloro borazine that means here chlorines are attached to the boron atoms and hydrogen atoms are removed and we get the uh, what is that hcl also as the side product hcl as the side product and uh, this reaction is also very easy to balance here we have the three boron and three nitrogen atoms so we write here three as well as here also three now the uh, number of the hydrogen atoms here 3 into 4 12 now here it, we are having only 3 so we are right 9 has 9 hcl now let us check the number of the chlorine atoms 3 into 3 9 plus 3 12 and on this side we have 3 plus 9 12 so chlorine atoms are also balanced and this one is known as the b trichloroborazine or borazole this is the intermediate product formed in this reaction we get this product in the form of the crystals and uh, later on this uh, intermediate product is uh, subjected to the reduction with uh, sodium borohydride so we we have to reduce this intermediate product in order to get the borazole or uh, borazine so we take the sodium borohydride this is known as the sodium borohydride so here we have to replace this chlorine atoms with the hydrogen atoms then only we get the borazole or borazine so for that purpose we have to add the hydrogen atoms and addition of the hydrogen atoms is called as the reduction so for that purpose we have to choose a reducing agent so any substance that contains hydrogen atoms act as a reducing agent so here we get the required product that is the B3N3H6 along with the sodium chloride sodium chloride and the diborane B2H6 <clears throat> now we have to balance the reaction uh, so <clears throat> Now here we have three nitrogen. Here also we have the three nitrogen atoms, and uh, we have to remove this uh, chlorine atom. So we put here three, and uh, now we have to write here three NaCl. Uh, chlorine atoms are also balanced. Now we have to balance the boron atoms. Here we have the three boron atoms, uh, and uh, here also we have the three boron atoms. That means uh, we have the six boron atom. In uh, and uh, but we in order to balance this one what we have to do means we have to add the instead of two we have to write the three so this can be done by multiplying this with the three by two so we write here three by two otherwise we can balance while after what is that uh, while balancing the hydrogen atoms also we have to write the same thing for example let us check here we have here 3 into 4 12 hydrogen atoms and uh, plus 3 15 hydrogen atoms on this side and here we have the 6 hydrogen atoms still we have to write the 9 hydrogen atoms so in order to write the 9 hydrogen atoms we have to multiply again this with the 3 by 2 so here so then also we get the 9 so like that we have in the third method ammonium chloride is reduced with the lithium borohydride LiBH4 so when these two are uh, allowed to react with each other we get the borazole or borazine like this borazole formula is b3 n3 h6 and along with this we get the lithium chloride and uh, hydrogen gas also 
so this is very easy to balance because we have the three boron atoms so here we would write the three as we are having three lithium atoms we would write the three lithium chloride and uh, here we are having the three nitrogen atoms so on this side we would write the three nitrogen atoms now we have to check the hydrogen atoms 3 into 4 12 plus 3 into 4 12 that means on this side we have the 24 hydrogen atoms here we have the 6 only so to write to balance the uh, or to make it 24 here we have to multiply this with 9 so 9 into 218 plus 624 so whenever we write 9 here then only the number of nitrogen atoms becomes equal so like that we can uh, easily balance this equation now we go for the physical properties of the borazole or borazine which is also known as the inorganic benzene here this borazole is a colorless liquid its boiling point is 64.5 degrees centigrade this borazole decomposes slowly on storage even at minus 80 degrees centigrade at room temperature decomposition is much more rapid and uh, it releases hydrogen, diborane and other volatile products. We call borazole or borazine as inorganic bench because its structure and the dimensions of the structure and many physical and chemical properties are similar to the benzene. Here in this table we can see some similarities in the physical and chemical properties of the borazole and the benzene for example molecular weight of the borazole is 80 and molecular of benzene is 78 like this many physical and chemical properties are very much similar to each other discuss about the chemical properties of the borazole or borazine chemical properties here borazole structure is very much similar to the borazine Here a nitrogen lone electron pair is there. This lone electron pair is donated to the boron atom. So, in between boron and nitrogen atom, a coordinate covalent bond is formed. That means a double bond character is there between boron and nitrogen. This structure is very much similar to the benzene. In benzene also, in between two carbon atoms, double bond nature is present. But even though benzene or aromatic compounds are unsaturated compounds, they show the substitution reaction instead of the addition reactions. Mainly aromatic compounds, that means compounds like benzene show the substitution reactions. Whereas the borazole or borazin mainly shows the addition reactions. Now we go for the reaction with the HCl. Borazole or borazine formula is B3N3H6. Here, we know very well that nitrogen is more electronegative element, so it has a negative charge and boron has the positive charge due to their electronegativities. And we know very well that in HCl, hydrogen is electropositive and chlorine is more electronegative. So, 
when this sl is added to the borozole or borozine uh, we get a addition product and in this addition product uh, nitrogen goes to the um, nitrogen atom and the chlorine goes to the boron atom so we get this type of addition product this type of addition product we are getting yeah but this on heating what happens means it loses the hydrogen molecules like this and a substituted product is obtained a formula for this compound is b3 n3 h6 cl3 yeah, on heating it loses the three hydrogen molecules Mm, sorry here it is b3 and 3 h mm, 9 h9 here okay here it loses these three hydrogen molecules or three six hydrogen atoms as a result we get a substituted product here and heating loses the hydrogen atoms and we get a substituted product Here chlorine atoms are attached to the boron atom. And on the nitrogen, hydrogen atoms are present. And the name of this compound is boron trichloro borazol or borazine. Boron trichloro borazine or borazol. Borozole or borozine formula is B3, this is nitrogen atom, H6, B3, N3, H6. So, when this diborin, sorry, borozole or borozine is allowed to react with the bromine liquid, here we get a addition product in which 6 boron atoms are added to the borozole or borozine. On heating, here three molecules of hydrogen bromide are removed. As a result, uh, we get the substituted product. We write H here and we write the bromine to this side. Okay, the bromine and hydrogen, hydrogen bromine, goes outside in the form of the three HBr molecules. As a result, we get the substituted product. And the name of this compound is boron tribromo boron tribromo borazole benzene undergoes electrophilic substitution reaction with bromine in the presence of ferrous bromide and here we get the bromo benzene this is a this is electrophilic substitution reaction electrophilic substitution reaction whereas uh, the reaction of uh, bromine with uh, borozole or borozine is an addition reaction this is here this is here addition reaction whereas here there is the uh, substitution reactions now we go for the 
reaction with water borosol or borosine formula is b3n3h6 whenever this borosol is heated with water it gives the three types of products they are the boric acid ammonia and hydrogen gas and here it is very easy to balance this equation here in borosol or borosine we are having the three boron atom so we have added the three boric acid molecules and here we are having the three nitrogen atoms so here we would write the three ammonia molecules now we count the number of oxygen atoms here three into three nine oxygen atoms are there here water is the main substance that provides the oxygen atom so here we write the nine now we count the number of hydrogen atoms here the number of hydro uh, hydrogen atoms is six plus eighteen twenty four and here in boric acid we are having the nine boron atoms three into the nine and in ammonia also we are having the nine boron atoms that means we are having 18 boron hydrogen atoms so still we would write the six hydrogen atoms so here we have write three three into two six so the like that we can easily balance uh, this uh, equation now we go for the pyrolysis reaction lysis means breaking pyro means heat so when this borosol or borosine is heated uh, at uh, 340 degree centigrade it forms the compounds which are similar to the biphenyls and naphthalene so we write the reaction here Here we write nitrogen and and we have the hydrogen atoms here. And the formula of this compound is B5 N5 H10. So here 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. So sorry, this formula is B6 uh, N6 H10. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. So its formula is B6 n6 h10 so this is very much similar to the biphenyl compound and one more compound we get which is very much similar to the naphthalene Here we have write the hydrogen atoms. Now its formula is B5, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. B5, H5, sorry, N5, and H10. So, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So, number of hydrogen atoms is also 5. Number of boron atom is 5 and the number of hydrogen atoms is 10. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. Sorry, 8 only. So, this is very much similar to the uh, what is that? Uh, naphthalene. So, uh, borosol or borosine on heating at 340 degree centigrade, it forms two types of compounds. One is B6N6H10 and the other one is the B5N5H8. This is similar to the naphthalene and uh, this one is similar to the biphenyl. Now we discuss about the structure of the borosol or borosine.
in borozol or borazine formula is b3 n3 h6 b3 n3 h6 here we have the two types of the central atom and only one type of the side atoms here central atoms are boron and nitrogen so we go for the electronic configuration of the boron and nitrogen here we know very well that boron atomic number is 5 and the electronic configuration in the ground state is 1s2 2s2 2px1 and 2py1 uh, what is that 2pz0 this is the electron configuration of the boron in the ground state now we go for the electronic configuration of the boron in excited state so in the excited state electron configuration is 1s2 2s1 2px1 2py1 oh, sorry i have written wrong the uh, electron configuration here yeah, sorry 2px1 only now it becomes 2py1 2s1 and 2pz0 now in the excited state this boron undergoes what is that sp2 hybridization on s and 2p are pulse sp2 hybridization and it here it has the empty p orbital or vacant p orbital empty p orbital so at each boron atom uh, empty p orbital is there now we go for the electronic configuration of the nitrogen nitrogen atomic number is 7 atomic number is 7 and electronic configuration in the what is that electronic configuration in the ground state is 1s2 2s2 2px1 and uh, 2py1 and 2pz1 but in the excited state the electronic configuration changes now it becomes as 1s2 2s1 2px1 2py1 and 2pz2 now here hybridization is a sp2 and here we have the nitrogen has the m what is that filled p orbital filled pure p orbital so what happens uh, let us see in the bond so as the boron and the nitrogen both are undergoing sp2 hybridization this boron and nitrogen atoms lie in a one plane in a one plane so we write that one boron nitrogen nitrogen boron boron and nitrogen a bond is a, a normal covalent bond is formed here like this and in boron as well as in the nitrogen three unpaired electrons are there so that's why they form three uh, sigma bonds here also in the boron also we have the same type of electron configuration so here boron and nitrogen form the three uh, sigma bonds like this and each nitrogen has one lone electron pair on it in the pure p orbital so as a result what happens and uh, boron has the empty p orbital boron has empty p orbital whereas the nitrogen has the filled p orbital, p orbital. so like this we can uh, okay later on we go for that one so here what happens means uh, covalent bond formation takes place here nitrogen donates this electron pair like this as a result quad three coordinate covalent bonds will be formed in the borosol or uh, borosine uh, we can represent uh, this 
with the arbor diagram like this. Hydrogen, 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 hydrogen. Here on the boron atom we have empty p orbital. Here we have the filled p orbital. Here also we have the filled p orbital. Here also we have the filled p orbital. And here we have the empty orbital, empty p orbital. So overlapping occurs here. As a result, a uh, uh, day two five bond is uh, formed here. So here, there is a possibility for the resonance also. So for convenience, uh, we name it as uh, one, two, three, four, five, and six. And uh, here, this one undergoes a resonance. And we may have the second type of structure. Here, in this diagram, uh, what is that? Coordinate covalent bond is there between number one nitrogen atom and number two boron atom. Okay, like that. Three bond is there between three and four, and here five and six. Let us see what happens in the resonance structures. B. Now, here we may write uh, in the reverse manner like this now. So, these are the two resonance structures possible for the borozol or borozyl. So, these two are the resonance structures possible for the borozol or borozyl. Now, we go for the study of the preparation properties and structure of the boron nitride boron nitride is a polymer boron and nitrogen both are trivalent atoms so its formula is written as the pn taken in this is also known as the inorganic graphite because its structure is very much similar to the graphite now we go for the preparation of the boron nitride Boron nitride is prepared by heating boron in the presence of the nitrogen gas at the white heat temperature. We get the boron nitride. Now we go for the properties of the boron nitride. Here boron nitride is a white powder. It melts at 3000 degrees centigrade, a very very high melting point. This boron nitride is very much similar to the diamond in its hardness here yeah, this boron nitride can scratch the diamond also so that much hardness is there with the boron nitride boron nitride is insoluble in water but this boron nitride on heating undergoes hydrolysis and gives the boric acid and ammonia boric acid formula is h3bo3 and ammonia formula is NH3 and this boric acid undergoes oxidation with the hot concentrated acids and forms the boric acid and ammonium salts the ammonium salts depend on the acid that we take for example here boron nitride reacts with the acid HCl and forms the boric acid and ammonium chloride this uh, boron nitride reacts with the hf also hf means hydrogen fluoride hydrogen fluoride and forms the ammonium fluoroborate which is a complex compound this uh, boron nitride has no reaction with uh, alkalis or bases now we discuss about the structure of the uh, boron nitride 
in boron nitride we have the only two types of atoms one is the boron and the other one is the nitrogen in bor boron atomic number is uh, 5 and electronic configuration in the ground state is 1s2 sorry 1s2 2s2 2px1 2py0 and 2pz0 in the a ground state it has only one electron one lone electron so it forms only one bond but here it undergoes to the excited state and the electronic configuration in the excited state is 1s2 2s1 2px1 2py1 and 2pz0 so in the excited state it undergoes sp2 hybridization and each boron has one empty orbital with it now we go for the discussion about the nitrogen atom here atomic number of the nitrogen is 7 and the electronic configuration in the ground state is 1s2 2s2 2px1 2py1 and 2pz1 here it has the three unpaired electrons but here it undergoes to the excited state and now we write the electronic configuration of the nitrogen in the excited state that is the 1s2 2s1 2px1 2py1 and 2pz2 so here are nitrogen also undergoes sp2 hybridization in boron in boron we have empty p orbital we are vacant p orbital and in nitrogen we have the filled p orbital so that is the difference we have to remember filled p orbital and vacant p orbital and both nitrogen and boron is undergoing sp2 hybridization and when the hybridization is sp2 the structure will be the planar triangle so here um, around each boron and nitrogen we have the planar triangle structure as a result uh, we have the planar structure for the boron nitride so now we go for the structure of the boron nitride at alternate positions we would write boron and nitrogen like this and now here we write nitrogen we write boron we write uh, here nitrogen and we here we write the boron like that we can extend this for uh, uh, for up to a long distances like this like this we can expand this structure and this structure is very much similar to the uh, graphite structure a nitrogen atom lone electron pair is there so this one involves in the bond formation like this so like this it goes on so here like the graphite boron nitride also has the layered structure 